This video is stacked with thrift finds. Today, I'm in Las Vegas, and tomorrow, I'm in South Carolina. And during these two days, I'll also be at a Salvation Army, a Goodwill store, the Goodwill bins, a Ross's store, and a Marshall store, trying to find items that I can flip for a profit on eBay. See, I told you this video was stacked. So let's kick things off in a Vegas Goodwill store that had some really good items. When I found this Jim Carrey Ace Ventura VHS tape, I had to include it in the video. Huge Jim Carrey fan. These are a couple of really cool items though, guys. We've got this Super Bowl 100 t-shirt. Fanatics, size large, seven bucks. Thanks very much. I'm going to pick that one up straight away. But that was it for a little bit because I found some really expensive jerseys. $30 on this one here. We've got a Washington Huskies uh, top here as well for 25 bucks, And even $15 on the Denver Broncos. The Philadelphia Flyers, very much the same. So kind of had to say no to all that based on the price points. But then I found this one. Look, it was $13.99, the cheapest price point we'd found. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Really enjoyed this though for nine. Oh no, $7. I picked that one up as well for the Friends Jumper. I thought that was pretty cool. Double XL in size. Then we've got a stack of Levi Strauss guys. How about this? If you're in Australia watching this, you're going to be shocked at how much denim there is over here for the Levi Strauss brand. 10 bucks, not too bad of a price. Just picked up the one pair, 38 waist, 30 length. Jumped into the shoe section, which was pretty quiet. As you can see, there wasn't a lot to play with, but I did pick up a pair of Nike Metcons. I always grab these when I'm back home in Australia. So it was nice to see these for the $10 price point. They should convert into about 50 bucks. Not a dame, love my college merchandise. Got a brand new with tag. Uh, there's a Fanatics t-shirt here, size double XL. So I've gone ahead and picked that one up. Pretty cheap price there as well. We paid the $8. So I've gone ahead and thrown that one in the trolley as well. Uh, Kyrie Irving Cavaliers Adidas jersey here. This was a good one. I've paid the $14 about 20 bucks Australian, but not too bad of a first run of the day. So I ended up getting uh, a total of seven items in that first store today, and I spent $61. So we're looking at about $9 US an item, which with the conversion rate over, over in Australia, it's about $13.50 per item. So I've got an Uber from my hotel to the first store, but I, I can actually be on foot past this Walmart, two blocks down, there's a Salvation Army. So I'm gonna shoot down there and um, yeah, I've got my bags in my hand. I've got no vehicle. I should probably sort out a car, but um, so far so good today. Let's keep moving. Gotta say guys, I was pretty impressed with the price points in this Salvation Army. I've had a bit of a look at the shoes and uh, look, these are a typical pair of shoes I'd pick up in Australia. These Asics running shoes go really well for me, but because they are so common back home, I chose to leave them back on the shelf. This brand is one that you can always win on, Hoka. Really good pair of running shoes here, the Clifton 4s, but as you'll see in a second, yeah, the soles, they, they weren't the best. So I've gone ahead and left them behind as well. But I was pretty impressed, like I said, the price point. $6 for a sweatshirt and a hoodie, $2 for a t-shirt. So I've gone ahead and had a bit of pick through but i did notice this man this man right here had been through an hour before i had and he had bought a bag of stuff although we did miss this one right here we've got the levi strauss size large button-up shirt very very happy to see that our good friend in the uh, checkout had missed this one so i was really happy to find it uh, clearly he wasn't doing the full due diligence as you should when you're in store i also picked this one up as well we had a champion long sleeve hoodie so while he did get everything i did come away with some really good items as well I ended, up, I ended up spending $8 uh, for those two items. I don't know how it ended up becoming 8 bucks, but it was. So that's good. Um, works out to $12 Australian, 6 bucks each. Champion at Levi Strauss, you can't go wrong, but I would have shown some footage of the guy in there. He literally cleaned the racks, so really unfortunate because it was a fairly cheap store. But um, yeah, he got, me, he got me, beat me to it. So... You win some, you lose some. We got two items, seven at the first. We're up to nine items so far. And I'm off to go get some lunch. Subway was the meal of choice today, guys. I had my teriyaki chicken foot long on Italian with some old English cheese. And I moved myself into the Goodwill bins. This is one of my favorite hunting ground, guys. And I don't get enough time spent in here because I, well, live in Australia. But for those of you who have not been before, it is basically pay by the pound. You grab everything you want and then you put it on those scales over there and they charge you at $1.69 per pound. So a very cheap way to get some very, very good merchandise. You've just got to do your time. So let's get into it. 
able to find these ones here. We've got a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost men's running shoes. Look, the condition of these, not great, but the soles were in good condition, and I think with a bit of a clean, they may come up okay. I've also got these as well. These are the Asics GT1000, a great pair of running shoes. You can be converting these into about $60, and I dare say that's going to be the case for these ones that you're seeing right here, so that'll be a good turnaround. Uh, these were really good as well, some waterproof Columbia women's hiking boots. The soles, as you can see there, have got plenty of life left in them, guys. They should not be here at the Goodwill bins, so they're going to come away with me as well. I found this as well, the Oshkosh. Uh, really good brand. I didn't go ahead and pick this up because I don't play in the baby space, don't have any kids myself, and, and I'm, that'll come later on down the line. This one here, I did want to pick this one up, but uh, then again, I, I can't because I can't bring this one home with me, but this sort of stuff is good to tell stab i would have given this a stab if i was living over there and just to see if that one was to work because that would convert into some very good dollars i found a raiders football jumper here don't really know why i didn't pick this one up it was reebok branded but in the end i did leave it behind i've got these as well which i thought were quite cool uh, columbia are just hiking gloves or, or snow gloves uh, but i did I, again i left them behind i couldn't pass this one up though we've got the easy money hat thought this was a really cool find. This was just one of the local casinos in Vegas. So I've grabbed that. I thought that was pretty funny. And then I've grabbed this one as well. We've got the Seahawks hoodie. This was the breast cancer awareness hoodie. So why am I saying hoodie? It's a beanie. You guys know that. Um, so this one here should go on to sell for, I would, I would estimate about $30. The Las Vegas rug. I've, I've picked this one up for novelty sake. We're about to head off to South Carolina. So I've gone ahead and grabbed that as a bit of a memento for the trip. So that was a cool little find as well. Not too heavy either, which is good. This one would have been for the personal. We've got an extra large tool. Uh, a bit of Carhartt, which is always a good brand to get. I would have worn this myself, but as you can see, there are a number of stains on it. So in the end, guys, a couple of goodies, a really cool time with the Goodwill bins. So that was a lot of fun, guys. I ended up picking up another six items, and I only spent $10 this time. It's a super cheap way of going about it. Um, so 10 bucks. Oh, look, I don't know how much money there'll be there, but I just thought, just have a crack, give it a go, see what you think. And it was pretty much a free-for-all. Everyone was diving in there trying to find stuff, and... I didn't really know what to do initially, um, but then yeah, got stuck into it and started really digging through as you would have seen and it wasn't a too bad of a way to finish Vegas. And just like that, I've made my way to South Carolina and I've jumped into a Ross's store. There were some pretty expensive shoes at $50, albeit brand new with tags. This champion hat, look, the hats actually weren't too bad. We had $11 worth of a price point there. This Lakers hat was just the $13. On conversion, there probably just wasn't enough wiggle room to go ahead with the purchase. These jeans though, how good are these? Check out the embroidery down the leg. We had $100 brand new with tags. These were only 25 bucks and I've left them back on the shelf. It was the only pair in store as well, guys. I reckon I've left some serious money on the table leaving those behind but you live and you learn I've got these 511s and these are a really good representation of the price points for the jeans you're talking about 28 bucks I jumped into a Marshalls and look there wasn't too much success to be honest with you in Ross's but we had some really good t-shirts picked up in Marshalls I've grabbed all of these for pretty much $9 a piece and I've put them all on my Instagram and they all sold for $30 free postage so we got some really good return I made about $100 profit in the space of about an hour we don't get these mass produced t-shirts back home in Australia so there was a really good opportunity to capitalize and I did if you've been watching this channel guys you'll know that I spent some time with Harry Tornado Josh and Haley. I was in their car driving around we did some thrifting on my second day in South Carolina very kind of them to give me their time and well we came away with some really good items I've got this one right here it followed me home can I keep it on the creepy co uh, co size extra large that was a really cool t-shirt I found these as well, a pair of Kyrie's. Uh, these were $15, not too bad of a price point, but the four youth size, I've gone ahead and left that behind. I kept myself in the shoe section and Josh found some really good shoes. The best part about these were they had only just hit the shelf. So he found a pair of on cloud Roger Federer edition shoes that he's just gonna give a bit of a clean to. There were just a couple of little scuff marks along the toe there. And then he also found these, a pair of Bionics that he believed he could turn into about $35. So these shoes were just $6.50 each. He paid $13 and there should be about $70 worth of estimated resale value. So he did really, really well there. And I kept having a bit of a look and I found some myself. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, yes. There we go. I make, with Keens, I make sure that size tag is still there. So these are, I guess, men's, men's five, I guess? Men's five, yeah. It's kind, of, kind of small, but they are in good shape. Yeah. They might even ring these up as kids' shoes since they're so small, and they'll be $4.50. $4.50. I, these don't sell super, I mean, they sell, but not super fast for us. So if you want those. I'll you sure? Leave, yeah, I'll leave them for you. Yeah, I'll take them. They're probably good that they're a small size to fit in the luggage. Yeah.
And it wasn't just Josh finding really good shoes. Haley also found a whole bunch of clothing. Have a look at all those items in her hand. She found a Lululemon shirt there that was going for about 50 bucks and she did really, really well. So it was a matter of going to the checkout, but it was actually all of the good items that we found at the checkout. Have a look at this case. This was the glass case at the front. Had a pair of James Harden Volume 5 uh, Future Naturals, which are a really good pair of shoes. Those Nike Combat boots go really well as well, but they might have been a bit heavy for the luggage. Uh, we had the Keens, we had the Vans, the Air Force Ones, there's some Jordans up there too, but I wanted the Hardens. Excuse me. I'll be able to have a look at the red James Harden basketball shoes down the bottom. Now, for us over in Australia, we don't get access to these sort of shoes too often, let alone in brand new condition like these shoes were. So to see them at a size US 8.5, which isn't too bad, for just the $25, this is an absolute steal because these shoes go for upwards of 200 bucks. Yeah, I'll take these. So there you go, guys. These James Harden Volume 5 Future Naturals are an awesome pair of basketball shoes. And I reckon I'm going to be able to get the full $200 that eBay is telling me. I had a look on StockX as well, and they're going for about $175. Bucks and eBay about 200 for some different colorways. So there's some real potential in that. I do think you guys should be checking at the front counter of Goodwills because they definitely do work. I didn't even look until I was leaving. And had I have not looked, I wouldn't have been able to find the best item of the day. So make sure you're doing that. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. I've got everything from my US trip back home here in Australia with me. I've been listing up like crazy. They are all on my eBay page right now. It's just my name, Matt Diedrich. Um, you can go and find all of that over there. And um, yeah, if you do want anything, maybe shoot me a quick message on Instagram and I'll try and give you a good price for it. So I want to finish listing all of these items up. Thank you very much for watching. My 30% clubbers that stick around to the very end. You guys really are the best. We'll see you in the next vid.